We got a great consolation semifinal, two of the best young 152 pounders in the, not just state of Ohio, but country, I would say. You're looking at Connor Brady of Olentangy Liberty, state placer last year, fourth as a freshman. In the blue, he's taking on Kevin Contos of Oregon Clay. Contos, just a freshman, district champion. He is 40 and eight on the year. Brady in on the shot, two takedown Brady. These are one minute first periods. And Brady up on Contos. 2-1 now. Contos takes a shot, there's a pancake now for Brady. And he is not gonna get that second one. Uh, just Ohio rules, you gotta go to college. High school, you just gotta go to college. You're, you're, yeah, you are you you got to go to college. You gotta go to college. Just change it and go to college. Just just change it, because that's awful. And crazy hips for Contos. He catches another break on the edge. Change the rules, go to college. Change, just go to college rules. Go to college out of bounds rules. Change it, go to, uh, just, you gotta do it right now, high school. Just the officiating, he's just, he's going within the bounds of his rules, but it's horrible. Brady should have three takedowns. And Contos with the arm spin, which is usually what you do try here at the Ohio State Tournament when it's folk style. What I like is he's hanging it out there, man. Just a freshman, actually his dad coaching him over in the corner. I don't know if it's Kevin Contos Sr. I know it's Kevin Contos, but I don't know if they have the same middle name. I don't know the semantics of that. Dad wipes his face off. Kevin Contos wipes Kevin Contos' face off, and it wasn't like a dude speaking in the third person. You get that? Do you, hear, do, you, do you hear me? You feel me? This is almost like uh, the Howard Stern show where it's like a peanut gallery, and the other people just kind of, it's like me. I'm actually literally talking to another person, but you're just nodding, right? You can give me a little verbal so people can yes. Okay, thank you. Because, you know, the peanut gallery, it's very minimal when we want you to chip in. You understand that, right? We do have a great matchup here. We have a 2-1 lead currently for Connor Brady, the sophomore. Two-year top freshman, sophomore, 152 pounders in all of the land. And uh, this is a fun one so far. Here we go, second period, 2-1 lead. Joyce Contos will be underneath to start the second. And once again, if you didn't hear me earlier, oh, uh, oh, oh my goodness. Contos has got bananas hips. He tries another arm spin. Holy talent. And Brady shuts that down by just, if Brady does not get this takedown, there's no justice in the world, and he does. But Contos is a talent, folks. Oh my goodness. Freak athlete. This is what I would like to hopefully call a budding rivalry. And uh, both Division I schools to stay. And Contos back for three more years, just a freshman. Brady's got two more. College coaches, these are those intangibles you look for. You can't teach crazy hips like Contos has. And right now, Brady looking to wrench him through. Got him in trouble. And once again, Contos' hips save him as he rolls through. Brady's a horse with a 4-2 lead, trying to rip Contos' head off. And it looks like we're gonna have some blood time for Contos. So back, yeah, I'm, my nose is bleeding from watching him get wrenched on like that. And Kevin Contos, senior, I, I don't know if it's senior, he looks like a kid. Isn't that crazy? He looks like a little kid. Dude's probably 40 years old, and he looks like a kid. Love, you gotta love it. The Contos is with that good East Toledo water. I, I mean, there's a lot of oil refineries there. I don't know if they actually have good water, but it looks like they do, doesn't it? Dude looks, he's healthy, let's just put it that way. He's wrestling in college. Yeah, his brother's nuts, wrestling in college. 42 years old, out of his mind. I need to go get, listen, I'm gonna get some of that bottled East Toledo water, man, because it, maybe it'll reverse my aging. I feel old. Here we go, Brady with a 4-2 lead on Contos. 
and Brady talking to Mark Marinelli. Mark Marinelli said, hey, do what you want. Go optional start. He's gonna. And he's gonna come out front and neck wrench him again. And looking to horse wrench him through there. And he's got contest in some trouble. He could be looking for the fall. There it is. And Brady picks up the fall. And they're tangled up now. And Contos will go for fifth and sixth. Brady for third and fourth. And I like what I see out of both of these guys. A budding rivalry here in the state of Ohio. Change your rules, high school. Go to college out of bounds, please. 